The Syrian Arab Army, SAA, and its allies have deployed a notable force for an operation against Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, formerly Jabhat al-Nusra, the Syrian branch of al-Qaeda, in the province of Idlib. According to program sources, the operation will involve the SAA, the Tiger Forces, the National Defense Forces, as well as the 4th, 8th, and 11th Armored Divisions. In the first stage, the military will allegedly launch two simultaneous advances in northeastern Hama and southern Aleppo in order to retake from militants the area west of Qanasir. In the Beit Jin pocket, in southern Syria, the SAA and the NDF recaptured Tal al baida from Hayat Tahrir al-Sham. It looks that the Beit Jin pocket and the area west of the Qanasir Highway will be the two key areas that SAA operations will operate in in the near future. S-400 and Panzer S anti-aircraft weapon systems will remain in Syria despite the recent announced withdrawal of Russian forces. Viktor Bondarev, former commander of Russian Aerospace Forces and chairman of the Defense and Security Committee of Russia's Federation's Commission Council, revealed on December 13th. Russia is not going to reduce its anti-aircraft capabilities in the country. Some number of helicopters, warplanes, and military personnel will also remain involved in the ongoing anti-terrorist efforts. The Popular Mobilization Units, or PMU, are preparing to launch a military operation against a new terrorist group called the White Flags in northern Iraq. According to the PMU, the terrorist group operates in the mountainous area around the Shiite Turkmen city of Tuzkermatu. The White Flags had conducted several hit-and-run attacks against the PMU's Turkmen units there in the last few months. Some Iraqi sources claim that the White Flags is a new name of an al-Qaeda-affiliated Ansar al-Islam, a radical Kurdish Islamist group formed in 2001. Other sources said that the group is nothing more than a Kurdish armed group previously known as the Kurdish Popular Resistance. Some experts speculate that the White Flags are just a proxy tool of the Kurdish regional government, which is aiming to destabilize the areas retaken by the Iraqi army from the KRG's armed forces in November. However, these claims have still not been confirmed.